The evil within. Is it worth a buy? Let's read, let's read. Developed by Sinjin Minkam Yang Tong, creator of the seminal Resident Evil series and the talented team at Tango Gameworks, The Evil Within embodies the meaning of pure survival horror. Highly crafted environments, horrifying anxiety, and an intricate story are combined to create an immersive world that will bring you to the height of tension. With limited resources at your disposal, you will fight for survival and experience profound fear in this perfect blend of horror and action. Guys, I want to agree with the description of this game. I certainly did have horrifying anxiety attacks while playing it. I was horrified at how bad this game actually is. Not in the sense of gruesome or scary, but in the sense of utter, utter banther piss. I'm shocked, guys. I mean, this is a 34.99 triple A title we're talking about. We're not talking about some little early access jockey in a bedroom who's been developing this in his spare time in between metal detecting. We're talking about a triple... We're talking about Bethesda here, guys. We're talking about the people who published Skyrim. Dishonored. First things first. As you're probably all aware, it's locked at 30 f***ing frames per f***ing second. 30. 30. 30 frames a second. In 2014, you pay 34.99 for 30 frames a mother fucking fucking fuck second the field of you guys as well it's absolutely wolf you the big black bar at the top and bottom of your screen looks like it's in 720p guys I'm, i run everything in 1080p this looks like it's running in actually 720p it's absolutely fucking abysmal it's just abysmal guys it's appalling that a game in 2014 has such limited graphical options as this one and it looks fucking hideous as well the textures are awful it looks shit the the guy fills a fucking quarter of your screen luckily luckily i've got my hands on some console commands and i've been able to change the frame rate up to 60. i haven't bothered with the field of view in case it blows my pc up because no doubt it's just dodgy i don't know but why am I having to do this, guys, in a game for thirty-four ninety-nine? Anyway, moving on to the game itself. The game itself has the most disjointedly awful story I think I've ever had the misfortune to see. It's it's kind of like they've just cobbled loads of shit together and just they don't know what the f they're doing. It's just hideous. It's it, 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 it's yeah, it's guys. It's just I don't know what the fuck's going on. And I don't actually care because I don't like any of the characters in it because they're so shit. And I don't like the gameplay mechanics anyway. I mean, basically, you're called to the scene of this horrific crime at 30 frames a second. And you go in and all the police are dead. You're a, you play a policeman, a copper, plod, yow, bill, whatever. You play him and you get pretty much captured immediately by this monster with a chainsaw. You then do a little clip from Outlast where you sneak past him open a door, run in the locker, hide in the locker, sneak past them, Bob's your auntie, there it goes. Do Outlast, check. We've done the Outlast bit. All right, next, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4. All right, let's do some Resident Evil 4. So the next whole chapter is Resident Evil 4, killing zombies, burning corpses and all that bullshit. So check, done Resident Evil 4, check. What do we do now then? Um, I'll just do that for the rest of the game. All right check do that for rest of game check it's a survival game you pick up shit that you find i don't even know what it is it's like green shit green slime in a jar then you see a mirror mirror on the wall console ports are worst of all and you go flying through a mirror wake up in this hospital where the penis nurse lives Sorry, it's not the penis nurse. In my playthrough, she's called the penis nurse. And you then go and sit in a chair and upgrade yourself. Upgrade yourself, guys. 
you upgrade your stamina and you upgrade your running because uh, we've got to upgrade guys it's a console game it's a console game we've got to upgrade in a console game it's a console game a console game we've got to upgrade in a console game upgrade your health yes please upgrade your sprint yes please upgrade your armor yes please hey You've got an achievement. Yeah, yeah, it's a console game. A console, console, console game. Upgrade your health. Upgrade your sprint. Upgrade your f***ing penis size. Mac. But it's stupid. You, you inject green gunk into your brain and that allows you to carry more ammo. <laughs> yeah, because finding an ammo pouch would be unrealistic, yeah? This game is trying to be Outlast and it's just f***ing failing. It's trying to be Resident Evil 4 and it's f***ing failing. It's an absolute awful game. The graphics are shit. The control is so clunky. It's f***ing the worst control in a console port I've played since Dark f***ing Souls on a keyboard and mouse. Guys, honestly, trying to defuse a bomb, the trap, you can see the f***ing tripwire, but you can't highlight it. You can't highlight it. It's totally hit and miss whether or not you can actually highlight it. And if you go close to it, it drags you in. It's like a suction, like a vortex pulls you in and triggers it. It's the most annoying thing you've ever seen in your life. Trying to pick stuff up, it's just like you'll get a flash on your console that you saw something. Then you're trying to find where it is by moving your mouse all over. It's awful, it's clunky, it's cumbersome. It feels awful. The puzzles are awful. The, the whole gameplay is awful. When you zoom in with your gun, it's fucking awful. It fills your whole fucking screen. You can't see shit what you're doing. The, the, it's just fucking wank. I'm the most scared person in the world when I'm playing horror games, guys. I'm scared of my own shadow and I wasn't a bit scared in this game. In fact, I was laughing as I was going through the game. It didn't get me at all. There was no atmosphere. There was no horror. There was no scares. It was just absolutely predictable bullshit. Stuff I've done it all before and outlast. Get some f***ing originality, will you? I'm sick of hiding in f***ing lockers. Aliens did it. This has done it. No doubt the next 10 games that's going to come out, I'm going to be sitting in a f***ing locker having a toss. Because that's the way it is now, because Outlast have done it. Outlast put you in a locker. Let's all have lockers. We want lockers, 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 lockers. You can't save it when you want to. The AI is awful, guys. I was winding up this, like, portcullis door, and these three zombies charged us, but they were really nice zombies. They said, oh, hi, Mac, I see you're just um, opening this door. Well, don't mind us, we'll just stand behind you. We'll not touch you. It's fine, we'll just watch, we'll just watch it. Oh, see how you're doing that, cranking that up. Ah, oh, that's nice. And then when I'd finished cranking it up, they were just like, you run along now, Mac, don't mind us. And another thing, later on in the game, I was running down some stairs while there was a zombie walking up the stairs, and it was like, all right. He says, ah, all right, mate. Didn't even touch us. It's, ah. Oh. Because there's no talent in the gaming industry at the minute. There's hardly any talent. People are coming into the gaming industry that are not passionate about gaming. They are just doing it like like the local vicar when I was 21. He used to stand in the local pub throwing f***ing 10 pence after 10 pence into the f***ing slot machines with his pint of lager on the top. He was the f***ing vicar. He was about as much a vicar as I am now, guys. He did it as a f***ing job didn't believe in any of the f he's standing there getting pissed gambling and that's the same in the gaming industry now you've got all these people oh there's plenty of money in the gaming industry it's the biggest entertainment business on the planet guys the video gaming so people are coming into it that don't even fucking like gaming and they're making shite like this and then you've got all the corrupt websites who are giving them fucking 10 out of 10 and 9 out of 10 hi we're looking to advertise on your website we've got a shit game that's coming out that's probably a 3 out of 10 would you give it an 8 out of 10 if uh, we'd be through a lot of big adverts at your website just hang on one second i'll just consult with the guys guys do we take bribes yes we do that would be fine 8 out of 10 you say that's fine certainly would you like me to give you a blow job as well certainly okay i'll do that as well that's fabulous Guys, it happens. It fucking happens. It happens. Not on my fucking channel, it doesn't. I'm going to stop there, guys. I've gone on and on. Uh, it's, I don't know what to say. I, I've said everything that needs to be said. I can't think of anything good to say about this game. It's just hideous. And no matter how many hours you put in, you just know that you're going to get rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. It's already done the cycle. It's rinsing and repeating it all the time now. It's just... There you go. And no doubt there'll be an army of fanboys blowing sunshine up its ass. Honestly. Is this the standard of gaming in 2014? What a f***ing mess the gaming industry's in. What a f***ing mess. So, the evil within, is it worth a buy? You know what? I'd rather put my todger between two flowery baps, walk up to a cocker spaniel and say, 
dinner time Fido than fucking play this game again.